All right, my friend, welcome. My name is Dr. Anthony Balduzzi. I'm the founder here at the Fit Father Project. In today's video, we're gonna cover how to do spider curls for biceps to give you more strength, more size. This is an amazing exercise that not enough guys are using. So in today's video, we're gonna cover the proper form points. I'm gonna show you how to do it here on an incline bench with a simple setup in our home gym. I know you're gonna learn a ton. Get out your pen and paper, take some notes. Let's dive on in. FitFatherProject.com all right, so the spider curl is an amazing exercise for isolating your biceps. Um, and we're gonna get started first by looking at the setup that you need. Um, the easiest way perhaps to do the spider curl is to get an incline bench, which you can find at a gym or at home. And you wanna set this thing at roughly, um, I'd say like a 60 degree angle. Um, and you want it high enough because we're gonna be resting our chest on here and we want our arms to dangle straight down. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do it with both a barbell or an easy bar and dumbbells. We're gonna cover both variations. So with the setup here, um, what I've done, and I've used our barbell at home, which is an easy piece of equipment a lot of people have. You're gonna get your chest nice and high on this bench. Your arms are gonna be in a supinated position, and you're gonna go and you're gonna grab your weight just right here. Now, I like to first get a grip that's a little more on the narrow side, so roughly around shoulder width, but a little more narrow. And I'm gonna sit the barbell right into my hands. My arms are extended straight down, they're resting. My chest is nice and high just like this. My arms are resting right on down. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna curl up, just like you do a normal barbell curl, I'm gonna come right on down. Curl up right to your chin, squeeze at the top, come right on down nice and slow. Up, squeeze, right on down. Again, up and squeeze, right on down. Up, pause at the top, down. A small form point that I really like is almost try to feel like you're sitting the barbell in your fingers just like this. It's kind of sitting low in your palm. This is a technique that you can take from a, a, a very similar exercise called drag curls, where you're almost curling up and backwards and letting that weight sit down and really target those biceps and come right on down. You want a good range of motion up to your chin, slowly lower on the way down. So that's how you do it with a barbell. And obviously you could just substitute a barbell for an easy bar, one of those wavy cambered bars. Um, great as well, and maybe even a little easier on your wrists and your forearms than a straight barbell, which keeps you in constant supination. Next variation is with a pair of dumbbells. So I have a pair of standard dumbbells here. I put on some fat grips on them to make them a little thicker. It's a great way to do this exercise. And then you're gonna keep your dumbbells here first in our neutral position. Again, same good position right here. Chest is high on the bench, arms are down, and you come right on up, curl, come right on down. I like to do these two at a time. Focus, curl up, 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 squeeze at the top, supinate, come right on down. Up, squeeze and pause, come right on down nice and slow. Really isolate the biceps. The thing about a spider curl that makes it a little different than a barbell curl is there's less cheating, right? Because you're braced straight on the bench. So it's a little more of an isolation exercise for the biceps. Just right on up, squeeze, right on down. So that is how you do the spider curl on an inclined bench for your biceps. Now you could totally do this um, on a preacher bench as well. So if you have a gym or home gym that has a preacher setup, you can see a picture of what it might look like here. You're just gonna get on the preacher, um, actually laying your chest down on the slope of the preacher and just do it off the backside of the preacher curl. Key point of the spider curls, we just wanna be in this position where arms are hanging down in isolation and we're curling right on up and right on down. So spider curls, this can be um, your main biceps motion at the tail end of your workout. You could do three sets I would do these on a little higher rep range to really focus on the contraction. This is not a heavy swinging exercise. There is a place for barbell cheek curls and heavy curls. This is more of a finesse motion. I would do in the anywhere from eight to up to 20 rep range. There's a lot of good research that shows that higher rep arm work is very effective for size and strength gains. So you can pair this after a barbell curl as a little supplement exercise, or you can use this as a main barbell exercise and then do a dumbbell exercise afterwards. The key thing with biceps, as we cover in some of our other free training videos, um, is you wanna have the proper volume space throughout the week. So let's say that you allot 10 to 12 sets of biceps throughout the week. You might do six sets on Monday, six sets on Friday. So you can definitely allot at least three of those 12 sets to something like spider curls to increase your arm size and your bicep gains. I hope you learn a ton. 
If you like this video, you want more from us, give us a thumbs up, um, hit the like button, and hit the comment button below. Also, to drop us a comment, let us know if you learned something useful, and if you're gonna incorporate spider curls into your routine. And above all, please subscribe to our FitFollow Project YouTube channel. We literally have hundreds of videos on the channel already on perfect form guides, on nutrition, on exercise for muscle building and fat loss. Here at the FitFollow Project, we are the health and fitness experts for busy fathers. So if that fits you and you'd like to join the channel and check out those hundreds of videos, we'd love to have you around the channel. So subscribe, hit that little notification button to get notified when we get new videos. Uh, we post those almost daily. So thanks for being here, my friend. Go forth in spider curl, and I can't wait to hear about your arm gains. I'll talk to you very soon.